Here is the complete overview of offerings for Dynas, so that you don't have to write them down yourself. The white altar with bottles on it requires one of each keepsake. Adventure, riches, romance, and peace. You get to choose one of these during the opening cutscene of the game, but otherwise, these first two can be acquired from the weapon merchant, the third from the romance merchant, and the fourth from Silvius in Nelvari. The red altar with fruit on it requires 20 raspberries, 10 peaches, 20 oranges, 20 blueberries, 10 berries, and 20 apples all of which you can easily get by foraging. The brown altar here with mushrooms and crystals on it requires 300 logs, 30 each of fire, earth, and water crystals, and 10 sand dollars. You'll need to cut down a lot of trees and forage the rest. This gold altar here requires a hundred thousand coins and ten gold bars. Acquire the gold ore from the mines and smelt it into bars, and start saving your coins. This blue and purple altar with food on it requires one cheesecake, spicy ramen, sesame rice ball, pizza, cookies, coffee, tomato soup, shimmer root treat, and energy smoothie. All of these can be cooked yourself at your farm, but if you don't have the recipes or ingredients on hand, they can be purchased from either the cafe, the bakery, or in the case of the energy smoothie, from Silvius. The dull bronze altar with rocks on it requires 999 stone, 50 coal, 100 copper ore, 10 sapphire, ruby, and amethyst, as well as 5 diamond and havenite. These can be acquired from the Sunhaven mine, and you'll have to go down to the lowest levels in order to find havenite. The green altar with tiny plants on it requires 30 each of wheat, corn, potato, tomato, carrot, sugar cane, onion, green root, honey flour, and rice. All of these come from farming on your Sunhaven farm. The blue altar with fish around it requires one dorado, duorado, crab, sea bass, goldfish, bone mouth bass, chroma fin, golden carp, flame fish, permade, crystal tetra, and sky ray. These have varied methods of acquisition, so be sure to set up fishing nets on your farms and fish in any available spot in each of the cities. Finally, the purple altar with lights on it requires 5,000 tickets. Continue completing the bulletin board quests and selling Withergate crops and fish. Good luck completing the altars. You'll need to finish seven of them to receive the epilogue, but all nine of them have neat rewards, including a phantom plate armor set, a Cerberus mount, and the key to the Glorite Mines. <laughs>